Tonight, a deep dive into some of the smoke shops in New York City, some selling marijuana without a license. That's illegal. And others have become magnets for some folks bent on crime. Just this last weekend, a man was shot and killed in a smoke shop in Harlem. Tonight, Iowa News reporter Josh Eiger speaking exclusively with cops about what's being done to try to stop the crime and the violence. The candles in front of this smoke shop at Lenox at 125th mark the spot of a cold-blooded killing here on Easter Sunday when cops say a career criminal shot a rival in the head. It wasn't a robbery and both men were customers, but people around here say the store itself is the problem. Smoke shops need to be shut down. All of them that are not legal need to be shut down because this is what happened. Since the state legalized the sale of marijuana, but only with a license, the city has seen a staggering rise in crime surrounding cash-only illegal and unlicensed stores. Citywide up 140% in 2022, and so far this year, up another 50%. And when you look at the amount of stores being robbed, it, it's really an issue for us right now. John Shell is the NYPD's chief of patrol. Last year alone, we had over 1,301 calls pertaining to smoke shops, people outside, allows music, cars. It's attractive, brings a lot of people together. And sometimes you bring people together, things do happen. Cops say they're doubling down on enforcement at shops like this across the city, working with the sheriff's office to catch them selling illegal drugs and shut them down. Of 1,600 stores, so far 70 are facing closure. This one isn't on the list at least not yet. Since the murder that happened here and all the attention it attracted, the owners of this store are trying to clean up their act, forcing customers to do business through a window instead of walking in to try to keep the criminal element away. But when it comes to their existence on this strip, it could be too little too late. This is like the mecca of northern Manhattan. Right? And Captain Tariq Shepard feels a special responsibility to clean it up. Born and raised just blocks from here, he now commands the local precinct. This is what we're supposed to be built for. This is what we do. And so, you know, if it's frustrating for the police, you can imagine how the community feels. I'm going to work with community leaders, the landlord, and make sure that problematic locations like this get closed down. At the store today, workers declined to answer our questions, and no one has accused them of doing anything illegal. But they're definitely on the radar now.